game launchers. Since the mid 2010s, they seem to be a dime a dozen now. They take time to open, they use up your system resources, and some launchers even require you to open another launcher to open your game. My pain is constant and sharp, and I do not hope for a better world for anyone. But above all, they make your desktop look like this. But what if there was a better way? Hey guys, my name is Nick, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the headache from having games across multiple launchers. A few years ago, I showed you guys how to run your Windows 10 games as well as your emulators through Steam. Those methods were a little bit hard to understand, so this time we're going to be using a program called Playnight to do all the tricky stuff for us. We'll start with the basics. As soon as you run and install the program, you'll be asked to select the launchers you use. Once you've done the first time setup, it'll grab every game you have and spit them out into the main library. It'll also grab all of the metadata for each game, such as the box art and descriptions to match. It isn't perfect all the time when choosing game art, but changing it is pretty easy in the program. Next, we're going to take a look at emulators. Go into the library menu and click on configure emulators. Scan where your emulators are stored and Playnight will sync them automatically. After that, you can add games by scanning your folders again. Now we'll take a look at Microsoft Store exclusive games, which was really hard to understand in my last video, so I'm going to make it a little simpler this time. Hit Add Microsoft Store Application, locate your game on the list, and that's it. I'm going to show you guys how I organize my games just for simplicity's sake. Along the top of the screen will show your sorting options. I personally like using the grid view and only showing games that are installed. The best part about this program is that it's lightweight and it allows you to keep your other launchers closed up until you need to open a game. Playnight also has settings that will let you close the launcher after you're done playing a game. Now that we've gotten Playnight set up, I'd like to highlight a few of the cooler features that this program has. The first is the full screen interface. By hitting F11, you get a simple and easy to navigate interface for controllers, which is great if you have your PC connected to your TV, and is much more intuitive than the Steam big picture menu. One of the issues I have regularly is actually finding something to play. Playnight's randomizer feature allows you to discover games that you haven't installed yet or might have forgotten about, or games that are currently installed so you always have something to play. And notifications are great for displaying new updates available for Playnight, as well as when the program's having trouble syncing your libraries, like when you change your password. Overall, I think that Playnight is a lot better than the previous videos I showed you. It syncs all of your games together into one cohesive library, and you don't have to do any work on the background to get it looking nice. I hope you liked this video and found my new way of doing tutorials a little less boring. My next video is going to be on a program called Reshade, which can get your games looking from this to this. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. But other than that, my name is Nick, and thanks for watching.